What is up guys, it's your boy Goose Attack here today with a brand new video. I'm going to be opening up the Thunderous GX, uh, Thunderous GX, the Legendary uh, and Landros GX, a special GX box. I must have said GX like six times, so yeah, it's pretty much it. You get these at Walmart, I see them a lot of them. Pretty good prices, you can get them on special now because they're starting to get a little old, so. Ooh, and look at that, I've never done that before. Like I pulled out the thing, pulled out the first piece of plastic and everything came out, so the cards weren't even stuck in the back, so that's pretty cool. So they must be in all pretty good condition then. Comes with this uh, pin of Thunderous. I think it's Thunderous. I'm not sure which one this is. Oh, this is Tornadoous. So, pretty cool. Oh, here's the promo cards. Look like they're in a good con condition. Get yourself a Tornadoous GX. Let me just fix the uh, the lighting here for everybody. Okay. Here's a Tornadoous GX. We got ourselves a Tornado Thunderous GX. It's a good looking card. Just check the back of them, see the condition. Ooh, super clean. Look at that. These are PSA worthy too, if I whatever not that I want to, but definitely like if it was a card worth PSA, I'd be super happy about that. So that's great. Good looking cards. Let's check out their ability. So win fury, flip a coin until you got tails. This attack does 30 more damage for each heads. Pretty sick. I mean, yeah, I think I guess it could be used. Then we got Thunder GX with the electric ball. 140. Not bad charge. Search your deck for uh, electric Pokemon card, uh, energy card, and attach it to this Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. So, not bad. I mean, if you're the starting off with him, that's always great. I've never really seen them in play, but hey. Okay, guys, let's see what else it comes with. Let's show it off. Got ourselves one, two, three, four, five, six booster packs. Honestly, I bought this a little while ago. It's been sitting in my uh, closet. I decided to crack it open today for today's opening. So, it comes with Sun and Moon Base, Evolutions, Forbidden Light, Guardians Rising, Forbidden Light, and a Crimson Invasion. So, definitely a solid of packs. I mean, it would have been nice if they maybe put maybe one Burning Shadows or Ultra Prism. But, hey, I mean, I like the Guardians Rising and the Forbidden Lights. I would say, I don't know, the XL. Anyways, so some pretty cool. I'm just going to mix them up. I'm not going to check on which ones to open. Also comes with a... Legendary Pokemon, this big ass card. So that's pretty cool. 500 XP. Too bad you can't lose. It says be legendary. Thunder, 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 embark on a year of legendary adventures. 1000 damage. I mean, if this was able to be played, this would just be unstoppable. Especially for th like three energies. That's 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 psychotic. This would be the best card in Pokemon. Like just hitting a thousand a shot every time. That's funny. Comes with this pin of this is, I think, Tornadoous. Pretty sure this is Tornadoous. So that's a pretty cool pin. I like the pin. Okay, guys. So let's get cracking into the pack. I mean, I'm just going to grab from the top. So we got ourselves a Forbidden Light at the beginning. Let's see if we get ourselves that Greninja, the Xerneas. There's all kinds of cool Rainbow Rares I would like out of the set. There's even the, uh, ooh, oh, Mysterious. Ooh, White Color Cold Card. So starting off with a hitter. Cards look in great condition. Okay. Starting with a Frogadier. Let me fix the lighting. So Frogadier. Anti Porter, Double Blade, Asper, Pancham, Noibat, Clancher, Gibble, Reverse Hollow is a Toxic Croak, which is a rare, so that's pretty cool. Reverse Hollow rare. And for the rare of this pack, it's a nice Xerneas GX full art form. That's awesome, guys. I do have this card in rainbow rare form, so it's pretty cool. Now I got the full art version of it. I think I almost have a trifecta of the GXs of this Xerneas. So that's pretty cool. Awesome. It's my first one I ever pulled full art. Let's check the condition. Ooh, condition is epic. Honest to God. Look at that. Centering is A1. No fliffing, no uh, damage cornered. No hollow bleed, so this is just great. It's a good looking card. So I guess we revise something at the end of this video. It's awesome, it's awesome. I'm gonna put the cards on the right side. Okay, so next pack we got our Sun and Moon base, but I would love to get that great ball. I mean, I would love to get the great ball out of this uh, Sun and Moon pack. Ooh, it's a green color cold card, guys. So no luck out of this one. Okay, so starting with a dragon air. Charge Bug, Crushing Hammer, Regirola, Cosmog, Formantis, Alolan Grimer, Stuffle, 
Carnivon is the uh, is the reverse hollow, which is just a common. Always hard to see the dark Pokemon reverse hollows. It's almost like sometimes you don't catch it. If you get like a certain angle, it doesn't even show that it's reverse hollow. And the rare of this pack is a toucan, which I've gotten missed, missed a million of these guys. So I guess that's good bulk. Okay, on to the XY evolutions. Let's mix it up with some XY series. This was the last set printed in the XY uh, the XY era, I would say. Pretty okay set. Green color code card though. You get that Charizard. I mean, I would like to get the Charizard, but with the green color code card, that kind of throws it in the garbage or maintenance. Haunter. I do like the nostalgia of opening the set. Ooh, we got a flying Pikachu. This is actually a secret rare. It's too bad they didn't make these hollow. It would have been awesome if they would have made these cards hollow. But it's a cool looking card. You got the flying Pikachu. You get to add to my Pikachu collection. I'm going to put this to the side as a pull. Because it is considered a secret rare. I don't know why XY didn't do them hollow. A little lazy on my on, on their part, to be honest. And I would have loved to see that card in hollow form. Do duo. Ooh, we got a Nine Tails break. So this pack for green color code card really had some hits in it. I forgot you can even get these. It's a good looking card. Uh, extra explosive fireball plus ten. Discard all fire energies attached to this Pokemon. This attack does sixty more damage for each energy card discarded in this way. So that's just pretty good. I mean, it does take a lot to set up these uh, break cards. I remember that. And we got an Eradicate for our rare. The old school big boy. It's like a little fat hamster. It's cute. It's cute and badass. I'm going to put that nine tails with the bulk, to be honest. I'm not a fan of breaks. I didn't like when they came out. That's now they're just completely discontinued, technically. You won't you'll, you'll see them in play unless you go and expand them. But even in expanded, you won't. I mean, you'll see GXs and stuff before you'll even see that. So, onto a Guardian's Rising. And this is a green color cool card, guys. So, we've got two packs after this. Hopefully, we got ourselves at least one more. GX or something cool like a trainer, Aqua Patch, Vanilla Ish, Enchanted Hammer, Towel, Phantom, Cast Form, Noi Pass, Deli Bird, Reverse Hollow is a Walmer, a Whalmer, sorry, it's a cool looking Pokemon. I do like Whalmer. It's a beast. It evolves into Whale Lord, which is a cool Pokemon too. And the rare is a Oricorario. Palm Palm Punch 20. <clears throat> Joe, your next turn, this Pokemon's Palm Form Punch attack base does it. That's a Hunter Arm. That's pretty cool. I did not realize that. So if you use Feather Dance and Palm Palm Punch, you can do essentially 100 damage. Or 120. Base damage is 100. Yeah, 120. That's pretty cool. So that's it. On to the Forbidden Lights. So we get ourselves maybe one more white color code card, even if it's a hollow. Just to, you know, get... Oh, and it's a green, guys. So we're really on the Crimson Invasion after this, so... Hopefully we get that Guzzle Lord or that amazing Rainbow Rare Gyarados out of Crimson Invasions that's underutilized. So let's check it out. Starting with a Dedani, which I know in the um, Unbroken Bonds you can get this in GX form. Which is funny, Dedani in GX. Go Goat. Floetta. Got a Cubone. That Leo. Flabebe. Rockruff. Fennekin. Two Piter. There's a reverse hollow and it's just a common. And the rare of this pack is a Zygarde. Super popular in the XY series. I mean, the whole show XY uh, Pokemon was literally based on Zygarde and how powerful it was. It was pretty good. I like that. It was a pretty good season. Pretty good, pretty good. On to the Crimson Invasion, which, you know what? I, a lot of people do talk smack about this set, but I'm not going to lie. I do like Gyarados. It's one of my favorite type of Pokemon, so... I mean, they could have made him stronger because he's not playable. And it's a green color cold card, guys. So, kind of a disappointing box. So, I mean, except for Xerneas, I mean, we got some first pack magic. And after that, it was just like downhill. There you are. Psychic Memory. Mawel. Nummel. Swinub. Swap Blue Blue. Spoink. Chimichiko. Star Porter is a reverse hollow. And it is a rare. So, that's pretty good. They got a reverse hollow rare. And then the rare spot ending is an Altaria, which I do like the artwork of this Altaria. That's a cool looking card. Yeah, I am a fan of Altaria. I used to have them in my, I think it was Ruby. I think I had to, I got Altaria to 100, level 100. I was super happy about that. I'm not too sure though. I got to look it up again. It's a little while I don't play. And that's it for the Thunderous uh, GX box, which you can still get. We, got, I can, we can show for two pulls. We got ourselves a flying Pikachu out of the XY. Just consider a secret rare, but this card in Hollow would have been just insane. But they missed the they missed the gun on that one. I mean, imagine this with the like the Hollow background, but like the old school Hollow where the sparkles and the swirls and that really pungent Hollow. 
this card would have just been like insane, but they screwed it up. And Exernius full art, which I do like Exernius. He is a cool Pokemon. And I remember in XY, he had like a, I think he was like a considered a god in the XY, if I remember right. I think there was a whole episode about him at the end, about how he was like the god of life, and Yavelta was the god of death. So that's pretty cool. I got a god of light over here. That's it, guys. Thanks for stopping by, and uh, I'll be back at it tomorrow with a brand new, oh, sorry, weekend with a brand new video. Goose Attack is out.